Mobile's public safety director wants to hire a youth violence prevention coordinator to help fight the increasing uh, numbers in violence in children. The city has seen an increase in murders and other violent crimes committed by teens. One of the people charged in last year's mass shooting, for example, at a high school football game at Lad Beeble Stadium was just 17. Administration's choice for this job is James Dixon Jr., who has a background in public education and health. He's worked at a Mobile County Alternative School, has a master's degree in public health, and currently works for the CDC. As Public Safety Director Lawrence Batiste explains, Dixon will now work with the school system to develop strategies for reducing violence. His, his, his primary objective will take will be one to look at the program that we already have in place, uh, how do we improve it and enhance what we currently have in place, and then come up with new ideas and new strategies to help us uh, to, to try to drive our youth in, in a different direction, creating collaborations with the parents, uh, make sure that they're involved and engaged in the process of what we do. Well, the council will consider the proposed contract at its next meeting. The $65,000 cost would come from the city's share of federal funds from the American Rescue Plan Act that was passed in Congress in response to COVID-19.